Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization VI. We're getting ready for Muskets and Things. Muskets and Things is a decent thrift store, uh, but honestly, they just don't have the selection that I wanted. That's, you know, it's just the way it goes, I guess. I thought they'd have more variety, but turns out they just have muskets. Hmm. Linter, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Never thought of that. Thanks for the upgrade tip. Yeah, as long as you as long as you pre-build our if you pre-build your Janissaries, you avoid all of the downside. This whole second half of it being downside. It's not that bad of a downside, anyways. But you can skip the whole thing by pre-building to swords and then upgrading. <laughs> I should be the game mechanic. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I need to think more about the uh, the unemployed regular sports ball watchers. I mean. I saw there was like an internet meme of like like esports are now the only sports, you know, so they got like legitimized. I suicided this guy. I forgot that there were things there. That sucks. So that guy's probably dead. It's fine. At least here we're in a um a woods. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just fight everybody. <laughs> guess I should have made friends. Oh boy, you guys. Um <laughs> Really enjoyed. Thank you all so much for spending time with me. Uh, I believe that my career as a Civ streamer is now over. Um, it was fun while it lasted, but uh, yeah, seems like uh, seems like I'm dead. <laughs> seems like I'm dead now. Oh, brutal! <sighs> okay, well. It's not like it's not like he's really good at the exact same time that we are too, right? Hello. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Okay. Um Don't really know what to do. I guess we'll have to risk that. Um It would be so nice. It would be so stinking nice to have a general right now. Oh, this guy lived. That's awesome. That's super pog. So then what else are we building in conjunction with all this stuff? <laughs> yeah, using that general really hurt us. No, we can't wonder spam, you guys. I, I, I've been known to wonder spam at some really questionable times. <sighs> Gonna lose science here. Uh, this is not one of those times.
Uh, probably a couple more archers. And then we'll just see where we're at. We have walls in our relevant cities except for our cap here. Instantly sieged. There go my pyramids. <laughs> oh god, he's got black armies. <laughs> help. Help, help. We're being repressed. Oh good, I was going to put a city there. Um. Really? You're coming for me? Come on, man. I think still have to worry about units. Um, what else can we do here? We're at mercenaries. So that's good. We're a ways away here. Probably archers are still the best. Who stole pyramids? Genghis. Okay. Why not pikemen? Why pikemen? So when you guys ask why not something, ask yourself, what's the argument for pikemen? The argument for pikemen is if there's a lot of like this type of stuff. And that is definitely true. But I don't, I, I think, I still think that like shooting them multiple times from range is going to be the best. Um, and yeah, I think in it, like for the most part, we're actually not going to be dealing with a lot of, of cavalry. I could be wrong there. But uh, I think I think we'll be all right. I think we need bastions now. Um, wow. Wow! 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 Hot kettle! Hi! <laughs> Thank you so much for the twenty-eight months. Are you here to watch me die? Because if you're not. You may want to come back later. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 28 months. Thank you for the tier two. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Okay, that's good. How did I get Spain and Hunger that mad at me? I have no idea. I don't feel like I did anything wrong. A little bit more worried about Hungary than Spain. God, these crossbows are annoying. Okay. Oh dear. These are all going to get pillaged. I'm trying to kill units where I can.
I rip my trade routes, as I said. Um, okay, well. I will want one of those eventually. <laughs> it is not TOA time. I don't know what you guys are smoking over there, but I want some. Because this, I need something to deal with this. Probably one more. Uh, all right. Something like that. Two envoys. My stuff is pillaged now. All right, we're getting there a little bit. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. We're fighting it off, but we still only have three cities. <laughs> it's not great. We have enough money for three muskets now. Probably time for a builder. Don't want to spend my money, really. Seems like we have a lot, but we don't. Wow. Oh, got me there. Okay, that makes sense. Really? Come on, man. I guess I should have taken this attack. I'm on the let's let's not lose this game plan, Mojeka. Ideally. Thank you, Murphy. Murphy says, GM, you do a very good job with your unit management. It's probably probably a thing that I'm pretty decent at that I don't uh, that I don't tutorial enough just because I see it every time versus explaining it. And thank you for saying that. That's nice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thanks, Sucker Man. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. This might actually end up being good. Uh, if they're going to lose units throwing themselves at you, you might be able to do a counter push. The problem is, is they're established and I'm not, right? Even though he's lost some cities, he has two, four, maybe five or six cities. He certainly has more. And I'm sitting on three, right? Like my whole point was like putting, turning these three cities into, you know, triple, quadruple, you know, a, a ton more cities right around this time. Uh, and because we're like being pushed in, we don't get the option of doing that. Um, so we're kind of in a rough spot still. could destroy this i know but i can't leave my city centers yet right i don't have my, my archers are working but it's because they are able to sit here at, on the high ground and take defensive position if i try to like move these archers and try to go assault cities with them i will die uh same with my swords and things like we have to wait until our, our muskets before we're gonna make any bit of a dent So we need an epic comeback? I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> <Betwixt the stirrup. sighs> Jackass. <laughs> Just can't. Just come on, man. Just lone archer from the grassy knoll in the fog of war. Interesting, SX. Yeah, like I said, it's been about a year since I've played them, so. You think I can rebuild those Janissaries? I know I did a lot already, right? I have a bunch of pre-built ones. <laughs> I'm thinking about buying the armory, actually. Uh, I can't really afford it, though. Like, if we look at the armory... 780 it's like all my gold and my gold per turn sucks so i can't really i can't really squeeze that in here now will i need to get it yes i, I will probably plan on building it here um in fact probably delaying terracotta something like this for now <laughs> um, I could make peace with him and go after uh, Matthias first. I don't hate that. 16 gold per turn's a lot. And I can just focus on the guy I'm already at war with. I think I like that. No, Swordsman pre-build into Janissaries. Yeah, I think this is fine. I don't, it doesn't matter which one of those I war first. I think I'd rather take my peace deal now. Now I won't get that city, but I can deal with this now. Cool. I think that makes sense. And I can send him trade routes, which is huge.
<laughs> there goes my TOA. I was really just, just considering it a second ago. Ten turns on the arrow. We just triggered that. Ay ay ay. This game is a mess. This game is a mess. So we're going to give this to melee units. Sadly, I didn't really pre-build a ton. I, we did get a lot of swordsmen out, actually. We did, we did pre-build a ton there, uh, actually. I'm going to pre-build more before, before it's all said and done as well. One Diplo victory point. So we got the melee. I uh, didn't get that, though. Fine. <clears throat> Get that road for now. I'm going to get a barracks here. I might need to reinforce a bit. Spot this game in quarantine is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Right, Scary Fairy? <laughs> yeah, I could see how that's uh, just a match made in heaven. Civ 6 plus quarantine. All right, we need to start bringing our troops to the front line. So this is where it's all going to start from. Dreamy Cat, thank you so much for the six months. <laughs> Hi, have Hi. you ever thought of doing a stream or two dedicated to getting the last of your missing achievements or I, is that too tedious i have thought of that um the problem with my missing achievements is that a lot of them are buried in scenarios and in order to get them all i have to then play that scenario five times that just doesn't sound that fun to me the ones that are within the game i yes that that is fine and fun and i don't mind doing that um but they're just way too many achievements that are in scenarios and i like the scenarios i just don't want to play them five times So that's where I'm at. And thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. Glad to have your support. Yeah. I'll just hold for a sec. Nice and trusty. Alexander Snare is ridiculously difficult. It is quite hard, yeah. No, there are a lot I haven't done. There are a lot I haven't done. But just you wait. Okay. You want to make peace yet there, dude? This this type of stuff drives me nuts. This this is not this makes no sense. This needs to go. Like you are nowhere near me. You have zero chance of beating me in war and yet you want everything. And it's just silly. It 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 makes absolutely no sense. He is nowhere near me. He has no threatening army anywhere near me. Uh and yet he wants just the world for it. So it doesn't matter. His empire is stronger than me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that that uh, Sure, if that's where the calculation is coming from, that's fine. 
Uh, but it doesn't make it make any more sense. It it makes no sense whatsoever. He he wants a hundred percent of my gold and more, right? I know, but you're but 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 you're you're okay. Frozen, frozen. You're saying his army is stronger than you, and his army score is higher than you. I mean, I can shout at the moon, but it doesn't make it make more sense, right? Like he he doesn't. He doesn't have the means to actually threaten me in any way, shape, or form. And so I don't care how big his army is. It, do it doesn't matter. That's all irrelevant. He's just as ill-equipped to attack me with his technically better military scores. So it's silly. And that was my whole point. Yeah, these black armies are pretty tough to fight. Greek would have been a better target from that perspective for sure. A lot of horses. So we're three turns from our armory. Looks like I'm not going to get a Golden Age even if I want to. Although seven turns. If I can get a Janissary, it pretty much pulls this into a regular. That would be fine. I don't need a Golden Age. If I can get just a regular, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I'm trying to fight against this. Here he comes. I'm building the armory. I can't afford to buy it. Jeez, and the tornado. The tornado is just the kick in the teeth, man. Here, fight three wars, and then I'm going to throw some disasters at you. Befriend them. We could befriend all these. Is he going to come settle this? Yeah, and a DOW from nature is about right. All right. See, again, earlier when I said if we try to take this army and turn it into even a wallless city, look what happens. We've lost several units in this push. It's because we've moved these archers, which are sort of naturally safe in my borders, um, away from all this. And uh, yeah, now we're paying the price. Wind up just losing a bunch of units for no reason. And my districts. Captain Cuddlesworth, thank you for the six months. Thank you very, very much for the support. Welcome on back. Happy to have you here. So I'm going to lose another unit here. Ibrahim doesn't even have a relevant promotion for me at the moment. Yeah, no streamer luck. This is a grindy one. No streamer luck whatsoever. Suleiman the Ottoman. My name is Suleiman the Ottoman. And there's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait. Just you wait. I, I heard myself say it earlier, T. I'm really happy you did too. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, and then those things <laughs> back to frustrate me to no end. Like, why? It makes no sense. <laughs> and it matters. The, the, the time when I get most frustrated with this stuff is with war games because your positioning matters so much. And the fact that the, uh, the AI isn't recognizing this move, even though it's 100% illegal or 100% legal, is just really, really annoying, right? And it and it and it compounds like an already frustrating situation. Like that's so freaking annoying. I 
Ten rules that your zone, your your own unit zone of control each other. Uh, I guess this gives us motivation to build that holy site. It's not great though. Um, okay. <laughs> Why? It's it's so impactful. It makes a huge difference to God damn it. Hmm. It's always when I'm trying to slow. Yeah, no, I know. It is, con the, yeah, the bug's consistent, but it doesn't make it fun. It still annoys me a lot. See, this guy could be up here this turn, and then this guy could be here this turn. <sighs> Rip. <clears throat> Oh no, now we're scorching the earth. Uh, so all of my pre-built units <laughs> have now died. Probably have to do this first. God damn it. Can't even soothe there. So I'm going to take Diplo League real quick. I think this is worth it. This is going to save my uh, capital three turns from building the ancient walls, which means I guess I can leave that in, but I'd like something more gold focused. Okay, so there we go. Now I don't have to build those. Now I can go back to a couple swords. I don't know what this has been a lesson in. <laughs> it hasn't been great. It's been a, a lesson in just uh, feeling bad. So let's see what else he's got coming. Not much.
Yeah, he's sending one more pike at me, but he wants everything. You're so smart. <laughs> Jeez. Last turn of the era. Probably not hitting any sort of normal age here. Which is fine. So I can get one more sword after this. So then I can finish this. How many how many muskets am I gonna have? Wow, we went from like ten melee units to now just having four. That'll be five, and I can get six. <laughs> it's really bad. Need some builders too to repair. All right, so Dark Age uh, is going to be problematic as it as it pertains to um, taking cities and holding them with loyalty. But we have a lot of abilities that help us with that anyway. So I'm hoping that we can skirt by without worrying about it too, too much. Meanwhile, these other troops can start to come forward. And... <laughs> I'm not killing naval units. This is so bad. This is so bad, yeah? It's so specific, even when it works. Like, it's so specific. These need to be redesigned. The, the, I think all the dedications actually need to be redesigned. Just to keep it fresh. Honestly, like, they're probably fine right out the gate. But now that we've figured them all out, I think they need a little love. <laughs> nice, Snoozle. Congratulations. I chose that once, didn't read the naval portion of the units, and invaded a country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so specific. It's so specific. Anyways, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here because uh, I need to reassess, and we need to figure out what the heck we can do. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever been at turn 125 and only had three cities. Uh, this is pretty terrible. Um, could be a losable game, which would actually kind of, like in a weird way, be exciting. <laughs> Is that is that weird that that would be like, oh, wow, we could lose a game at like turn 150. I'd actually almost like that a little bit more. Anyways, thank you so much. If you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. Thank you uh, again for, for, for that. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.